Hi, welcome to Practical Python Lessons for Networking. My name is Eric Cho, and I'm super glad you're here. So first, who am I? I've been in the network engineering industry for over 20 years. I've you know, been on the, on the service provider side, on the cloud provider side, um, you know, vendors, customer, uh, even business dev, you name it. I'm the author of Mastering Python Networking by Pack Publishing, as well as DDoS Detection and Mitigation by O'Reilly, as well as some of the other books. I'm uh, ex Amazonian, ex Microsofty, so I was blessed enough to be able to uh, work for two of the top cloud providers, and that is really where my network automation, my Python motivation, this path I've been on, uh, really started is just to work for these top cloud providers and um, having to use some kind of coding skills to solve everyday problem. I'm also the founder of Network Automation Nerds, and uh, this is what I use for. Um, a lot of the projects I've, you know, training projects, books, and so on. And I'm also really very passionate about Python networking, teaching, and just technology in general. So why do we want to take this course? Why do you want to take this course? So in my opinion, there's a lot of Hello World examples out there, and there's also a lot of uh, real, beefy, strong projects that solve real problems. But, you know, just like you wouldn't go from Hello World to contribute to the Python core library, there's something in between that needs to get done. So this course is aimed to fill that space. Uh, having some kind of project that solves a problem, and that is uh, example-driven, which is, you know, th that's how I like to learn. So I hopefully, you know, that uh, speaks to you as well. I'm going to include a lot of examples and minimize the amount of, uh, PowerPoints and just you know looking at code and then explaining what the code does and then execute the code to prove that it works. It's also written by network engineer, constructed by network engineer me, and meant for network engineer. So all the example is going to be in the context of network engineering. I know your pain. I've I've lived through it, and hopefully we could speak the same language and make this ramp uh, a little bit easier to go up. And so the course structure is going to be, you know, what you're looking at, the introduction, and we're going to talk about setting up the lab, setting up Python environment, and then we're going to step right into the route change detection using Nornir. So Nornir is a great library for to hide kind of the low level interaction between the uh, between the routing devices versus uh, your higher level logic. So that's really the first step is that, you know, it returns a structure output so that you could do something with it. And then we're going to talk about alerting. You know, once we have some sort of condition that's met, in this case, we're going to alert our, ourselves when um, when the route is not in the routing table, you know, meaning that there's some kind of faulty condition that's met and now we want to alert ourselves. And then we're going to talk about code refactoring. So code refactoring meaning that everything now works, right? The first two steps will get us the objective, but the, the code might not look pretty. It might not be uh, reusable. It's just uh, there, you could improve on the, upon that code. So that's what I meant to be code refactoring. We're going to make it uh, essentially establish Python functions and to make it re reusable and uh, easier to pass around between our colleagues and so on. And then we're going to talk about Python packages. So Python packages is a way for us to group a bunch of different methods and functions and classes together into a package. It's exactly what it says. It's a package that we could, you know, kind of encapsulate everything we wanted to do and pass it on to somebody else. And of course, that leads, you know, directly into the next step, which is the package distribution. You know, once you package it into a nice um, you know, form that you could either push it out to PyPI or you could just, you know, zip it up and give it to your colleague and they could, uh, they're able to use it and, you know, hopefully make it more maintainable as well. And so, you know, a few notes about this course. It's meant for network engineer with some experience. You don't need to be a, uh, you know, CCIE expert. You don't really need uh, many, many, you know, 10 plus years of experience. But what you do need is that if I say loopback interface, you know what it is. If I do a config T, you know what it is. If I do a shut, you understand what the implication is. So it's meant for network engineer with some experience. It's also the beginning of the journey, right? Because, um, what I want to do is just introduce to you so uh, of the tools and one way of use it, so um, so you could you know explore further 
uh, of it. And I will pl provide plenty of resources along the way that, you know, e each of the steps, if you want to know more about something, say Twilio, that you could go ahead and uh, explore more. And it's going to use Python 3 because Python 2 is end of life and they might push out some security patches, but no more new features. There's not going to be like a, a you know, Python, I don't know, 2.8. Um, I think that's the latest 2.7. I don't even I don't even really keep up with it. But uh, you know, Python 2 is dead. Use uh, Python 3, especially for new projects. And we're going to use basic Linux, some of the basic Linux commands, uh, and then also we're going to use a network lab. You, uh, in this case, I'm going to use Cisco Viro. And you know, please type with me. You know, I I, um, I couldn't stress this enough. I mean, you don't you don't really get uh, stronger by watching somebody else work out. Just like you know, that's a good analogy for coding. You don't really get be a better coder uh, or Pythonista unless you code in Python. So you know, please type with me if you could. And uh, you know, the course files are in the GitHub repository. I've listed out the GitHub repository. It should also be included in the course notes. Um, you know. If you have a problem with that, you know, you should just probably just look at, you know, a click around a little bit, you should be able to find it. But if not, all the files are going to be in the uh, GitHub repository as well. And I'm really excited. Like I said, I look forward to getting on this journey with you and let's get started.